Y'all want to hear some hypocritical bullshit? Let me just go ahead and play this for you. Oh, terrible, indel indelible legacy of the 45th president of the United States, undoubtedly our worst. I want to be very clear. Those who perform these reprehensible acts cannot be called protesters. No, these were rioters and insurrectionists, goons and thugs, domestic terrorists. They do not represent America. They were a few thousand violent extremists who tried to take over the Capitol building and attack our democracy. They must and should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, hopefully by this administration, if not, certainly by the next. They should be, they should be provided no leniency. All right, so what I just showed you is the uh, Senate back in hearing and Mitch McConnell talking straight hypocritical bullshit right out of his ass. Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to sit here and say that the supposed Trump supporters that went into the fucking Congress or went into the Senate floor um, are rioters and shouldn't be looked at as peaceful protesters and should be, you know, put to the fullest extent of the law when you guys literally allow BLM and Antifa to burn down buildings, murder people. Not one lady was shot which that sucks, and I'm very upset about that. But, you know, one lady was shot by the police inside the building, mind you, not by the people, you know, not by the Trump supporters out, out on the streets. But you have BLM and you have Antifa go around for months terrorizing people. Tons of people were maimed or murdered, including animals. Multiple horses were, one was killed for sure, unquestionably, I know that. Yeah, two were set on fire. I don't know if they died or not. I mean, are you fucking kidding me right now? What kind of bullshit. Get ready, guys. Because this is getting obnoxious right now. This is no longer America. We're literally watching communism unfold. And we will find out by the end of this what's really happening. Because I was saying when this whole D.C., you know, January 6th thing started, I was like, I'm worried about this because they're going to have a bunch of Trump supporters in one area. And you know they're going to try to do something. There's going to be some bullshit false flag event. And there's already evidence popping up showing, which I posted to, you know, um, <clears throat> not video, sorry, photos of people that were clearly Antifa members from previously dressed up as Trump supporters going around and doing their shit. There's apparently already been multiple people that have come out um, with video footage. I haven't seen it yet, but I was just watching a newscast talking about it, showing basically a group of people that were very military-like, they were saying, dressed in gray gear, showed up um, and started the push-in on the Senate building. And there's also, like, I just posted a photo of a photographer taking a picture of a girl standing up at the, you know, um, well, I don't know what the, the front little row seat, I don't know what you call that. Anyways, standing up, doing a little BLM fist. Um, excuse me, everybody was evacuated out of there because crazy protesters were running in. And so then you just happen to have a super high-end camera guy just able to stand up there and take a photo of her, like... Fuck you, Mitch McConnell. How dare you? Piece of shit. Talking straight hypocrite. I can't, like, what? Are you literally, I just, <sighs> I'm gonna not rant. I'm just gonna say, like, are you fucking kidding me? We have heard nothing but about how BLM and Antifa were peaceful protesters with literally news anchors standing in front of fire, burning buildings and shit down to the ground, you know, murdering people. Where, how many police officers lost their lives, let alone regular citizens? We know a lot, but you're gonna sit here and say, this is rioters and not protesters? Wow. Wow, guys, get ready. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna keep watching this and see what the fuck is going on. Make no mistake, my friends. Today's events did not happen spontaneously. The president who promoted conspiracy theories that motivated these thugs, the president who exhorted them to come to our nation's capital, egg them on. He hardly ever discourages violence and more often encourages it. This president bears a great deal of the blame. This mob was in good part President Trump's doing, incited by his words, his lies. This violence in good part, his responsibility, his everlasting shame. Today's events certainly, certainly would not have happened without him. Now, January 6th will go down as one of the darkest days in recent American history. A final warning to our nation Fucking about the consequences thing. of a demagogic president, the people who enable him, the captive media that parrots his lies, and the people 
who follow him as he attempts to push America to the brink of ruin. As we reconvene tonight, let us remember, in the end, all this mob has really accomplished is to delay our work by a few hours. We will resume our responsibilities now, and we will finish our task tonight. The House and Senate chambers will be restored good as new. So I started the video back up to continue watching, and he immediately goes in to blaming all of this on Trump creating conspiracy theories because, yeah, there's not oodles of evidence. You know, there isn't a almost 300 page document that Sidney Powell put together and there isn't uh, over 200 affidavits of people signing and telling about all the different experiences they had through election fraud, um, you know, or witnessing weird things. There isn't the postal worker that came out. There isn't all these different things. But anyways, I had just read an article earlier trying to figure out the Senate was going back in or not where um, Bush literally came out and said the exact same thing that baseless conspiracy theories are what fueled this. Yeah, this wasn't planned at all. And I find it really interesting, Mitch McConnell, that you just have an entire essay already pre-prepared that matches Bush's, you know, Bush's little statement. Pretty, pretty damn close, guys. Yeah, not a false flag at all, anybody. Anyways, just had to throw that in there because it came up right after and I was like, why did you... <sighs> Anyways, the bullshit. If they think, like, literally he's like, I'm talking to the American people. No, you're talking to the only people that believe you. The American people think you're full of shit. The leftover little commies that are running around are brainwashed children of America. They believe you. The elder brainwashed Democrats, they believe you. Anybody else with half of a brain, Democrat or Republican, doesn't matter. They don't believe you because it's obvious.